Duckless versus ducted. Mini splits versus central. That's a question we get all the time. And another question along with that, people ask, what, Josh, what would you do if it was your house? Well, to show you today, I thought I'd bring you to my house and show you why at my house I chose to do both. So this house is split in two sections, right? There's a staircase right behind this wall and that divides the front of the house from the back of the house. So they had a system, the first central ducted system is actually behind these cabinets um, and in a, it's like the, above the pantry. This is the pantry space and above me is exactly this amount of space is where the heater is located. This is the only attic in the house and the ducts used to used to come down where this shelving is right here and it, it made this pantry really small it was just a very little narrow alley thing we couldn't even put a shelf on this side so by removing that central system we were able to open up this entire pantry and gain some more space for storage and make this a, a usable walk-in pantry for the front part of the house because space was limited we opted to go with a ductless mini split option this is a three zone ductless mini split that covers one whole half of our upstairs living quarters, which is the kitchen and dining room and the living room. And then we've got a downstairs living room that's covered by the mini split and my son's bedroom. For this upstairs unit, we used a two ton indoor unit wall mounted and my wife wanted us to paint it black. We have a lot of black accents in the house the dark wood beams and we've got um, black framed windows. So we painted this one black and hung it up high. People don't even know it's there. In this space, this is our downstairs kind of living room that we can make into a guest bedroom. We opted to keep the unit white and we hung it high up on the wall as well. This is actually directly below the unit that's upstairs. For this small bedroom, it's a kid's bedroom. We kept the unit high and tight in the corner. And keep in mind all these units, all, the, all these uh, rooms, these spaces, we're placing the unit in these like negative spaces, the places that you don't see when you're casually touring the home or you're showing off the layout of your house to your friends and loved ones when they come over. We're always trying to tuck these things out of the way so they're not super noticeable. For the outdoor components, I felt like it came up great. This line set cover on the right goes all the way up and handles the upstairs unit and then on its way down it picks off the downstairs uh, unit as well. So one line set cover there, everything looks nice and neat. Then we move over, you see that the outdoor unit, it's slim, it's tight to the wall, it gives me and my neighbors space to walk through this narrow, you know, section. And then on the other side we've got a clean line set cover with nice bends that goes up and takes care of my son's room as well. So all in all I felt like this worked really well for the amount of space that we were given. Uh, you guys did a great job. The back of the house deals with everything from this staircase backward that handles the master suite up on top and one bedroom down here and a little bit of the hallways. So this unit was already here, or I should say a different system was hung in the garage. And since space wasn't an issue, we were able to hang a full blown fan coil here. And then I like the idea of good air filtration and sanitary air. So we have a nice media filter on the left hand side there. We've got an air quality monitor and a UV light installed. So these ducts actually come off and then go straight up into like this one goes into my master bathroom and it's a really short duct so uh, we get a little extra wind noise so that's something to consider if you have a unit in the garage and there's a bedroom right next door you're going to have some noise issues i'm okay with noise in my bathroom because i the the solution to fix that is to run a longer duct and i don't want to see a bunch of extra duct work in my garage so um, yeah, that's how the ductwork is run on the supply. It kind of goes straight to those bedrooms and then pops through the wall or the floor to get where it needs to go. Um, the return is kind of the same thing. It's just on the other side and that goes through a soffit and there's a filter grill on the wall downstairs. Here we are in the office. And one thing to note about our system being in the garage and the ducts running between the floors is that upstairs, all the grills are in the floor. That means that I can't put furniture just anywhere I want. So that's something to consider if you're designing a home and you think maybe you'd put a, want to put a register in the floor is it will limit where you can put your furniture. In this hallway, we've got a couple thermostats. This is the old one that served the front half of the house and it's really far away from this thermostat. So this was really not a good location 
to begin with. But also right next to it is the thermostat for the back of the house. Uh, one thing to note about the location of this thermostat is it's really the only spot to put the thing, but it doesn't quite sense temperature from each of the rooms very well at all. So my master bedroom is the closest room to this thermostat, and we are typically extremely warm in the mornings where the heater's on before this thing recognizes that it's done a good job at heating the home. Uh, conversely, the, the rooms downstairs, they, they don't quite get warm enough before the, the system shuts off. So that's just a difference between having mini splits and room by room air conditioning and heating versus having a central system with the convenience of everything turning on and turning off at the same time, kind of set it and forget it. If we were gonna do everything over again, we probably would have done the exact same installation that we have today. We like our central system in the back. We like the, the advantages that we get from having a central system that we don't have to worry about. And we, and we honestly didn't have space for the refrigerant piping and the line set covers and all the, all the infrastructure that a mini split needs. Um, and we, because we had the garage space, it really worked out well. And then in the front of the house, we absolutely would do mini splits. So we're, we're so thankful that they're there. Uh, the upstairs unit, a lot of times is the only system that needs to run in the whole home. So in the summer months when it's really hot, that's the hottest part of the whole house and the air kind of trickles into other places. And so it's, it's been really nice to have individual room by room control of that side of the house, especially our guests like to be able to control their own climate too. But I hope you enjoyed taking a look into my life and why I chose the systems that I chose. Again, central or mini splits, there's no wrong choice here. And hey, sometimes it's both.